What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Disgaea 7. In this video, we are going to be going over how to obtain rank 40 equipment. Easy as well. Now, when you first unlock Land of Carnage, this could be quite difficult normally. However, there's a really easy and cheap way of getting rank 40 equipment very, very easily. So let's talk about it. First of all, in order to get rank 40 equipment, either normal or Land of Carnage versions, you are going to need a rank 39 item. However, these are actually really, really easy to obtain. You're just going to use the Item World Research Squad. Now, obviously right now I have Mr. Gensi Exit in there. However, what you would do normally, okay, is anything like Exodius, and stuff like that so rank 35 items or higher you would stick eight of them in here just normal quality that's all you need you can use rare and legendary if you want to but normal quality works just as well then what you're going to do is you're going to complete 10 normal stages either in the item world or via the carnage dimension or Di uh, dimension guide once you've completed then stages you're going to go through and you are going to get these items out by pressing triangle to claim them all that will then bring up a menu where all the items that you obtain via research will be there and this will definitely get you rank 39 items very very quickly now, when it comes to the rank 39 items, in order to obtain rank 40 items, we need the item god 2 at the end of those items. So, let's talk about the prerequisites for the item god 2 to spawn. Firstly, if you want an item god 2 to actually spawn, the item level must be over 250 okay so that is the level at the very top there just near the name so you see just below where it's got level rarity and pop its level needs to be a minimum of 250 before you enter floor 30 okay so what you can do is go through floor one and then use a Gensi exit on floor 29 however if you go through floor 10 and floor 20, you can very easily leave at the innocent town on floor 20. And chances are you are more than likely going to have over level 250 anyway. Second requirement, you need all 30 floors. So that does mean that this is limited to legendary or epic items only. You can only do 30 floors on legendary or higher items. Now, once both those conditions are met, let's talk about stealing the items, shall we? Item gods pretty much have capped stats when it comes to Land of Carnage items. So for a prerequisite, you are going to need a thief character with 20 million stats minimum. The easiest way of doing this is you get 10 million stats from Juice Bar, which, by the way, I have a Disguise 7 playlist down below in the description with guides for basically everything else. If you want to see the best farming methods for that, go ahead and check there now once you get your 10 million stats from the juice bar you also want to have the character mastering all of the classes then reincarnate and level in the overlord god squad for extra stat growth that will also give you 10 million so that way you have a thief with 20 million in stats then what you want to do is you want to level up two abilities the first one is cat trick which increases your hit and your speed this is important if you have a weaker character or you've only just gotten to post game then you want to level cat snatch all the way up to level nine this is your stealing ability the higher level the more chance you have to actually steal then obviously our stats are too low compared to the item god so you can use your other units to increase your stats and decrease the bossy stats so for this what i like to do okay and you can do this multiple different ways if you want to now if you are first starting this off what i would suggest doing is making a succubus class okay make a succubus class master that and then you want to also use that class to master the shroom okay the reason for that is we need the evil teas from both of them so if i very quickly load them up 
So right now I can do this on my normal characters just because I already have all of the unique evilty slots. So we want Sexy Aura from the Succubus, which decreases stats of adjacent male enemies by 20%. Then we have Mushroom Power, which decreases stats by 20% for adjacent female enemies. This means no matter what item God spawns, the enemy will get a 20% stat decrease. Then, if you have space, you can use Lovely Song to increase stats of all allies on the map. And then it doesn't really matter about anything else. All you really need is Secret Recon for extra movement. Everything else is entirely pointless and optional. Now, me personally, I only do this with free characters, okay? Simply due to the fact I don't need any more than that. And in fact, sometimes I don't even need the debuff in general. Then, with your Thief character, character okay your unique ability will be art of robbery which increases your steel success rate by 100 this gives you an extra but basically doubles your steel chance okay now when the dlc releases we will also have the ability to gain another stealing evil tea which increases the chance by another 100 however at the time of this video the dlc is not released so i'm not going to include that in this video now the next step is to increase our stats to give us more chance of stealing we have convert force which gives us an extra 25 percent stat increase to the death we don't really care about that unstable power which increases stats by 50 percent dragon's horde for an extra 10 percent however i will not be using an emblem so i will not be gaining that ability then we have counter contempt or we only want the stats we don't care about counter attacking here and then we also have second challenge when steel fails you attempt to steal a second time and again we don't need to care about reaching hands because we are using a thief and not stealing items and then last but not least we have group psychology which if you really really wanted to rather than using that on your thief you can use that on your actual debuffing and your buffing units instead however again i do not need that personally then the last thing you are going to need is if you want to obtain multiples of these items have a mr gensi exit then you simply need to go to the item world now for the purpose of this video i'm just going to be using my neo bull sword which is already on floor 30 however one thing to note is i do have enemy stars turned up currently so the item god for me is going to be a little bit stronger so as you can see it is completely stat maxed okay the neo bull sword is a rank uh, 42 item it is the highest rank item in the game so stealing it would normally be kind of difficult for our free debuffers we are just going to move them up next to the boss so as you can see straight off the bat there is 20 percent lost already now i bet you if i move my thief up i could probably steal that right now nope still can't okay never mind so at this point, okay, if your stats are really low and you don't have all the unique evil tears, what you can do is bring out a celestial maiden. This is entirely optional, but it does help. Bring out a celestial maiden, use Valkyrie Order on the thief, okay? So what Valkyrie Order does is anytime the thief acts, you'll actually act twice instead. So now we're going to go and use a uh, cat trick just to increase our hit and our speed so let's do that really quick so as you can see we've just gained nearly 20 million hit and speed but obviously we've just acted so we're going to bring a myco out and then we're going to use encouragement which allows the thief to act again now with our stat increase can we steal yet okay so we can steal a little bit that's only with one debuffing unit though so let's bring a couple more out we'll just bring two more out which is what i normally do normally i don't buff or use the micro or the celestial maiden or anything like that typically just using the free debuffing unit is enough now as you can see the boss is only on 50 million stats so once we go ahead and use cat snatch we now have a 99 percent chance to steal so we're just going to execute now obviously i missed on the first turn because that one percent really did not like me but we got the item now what we can do we can do one of two things firstly we can either use a mr gensi exit to leave or we can just go ahead and go through 
the actual skip gate now i'm using this item for something else so i'm just going to leave the actual stage i don't care about obtaining another neo ball sword so i don't care that i've just lost it by quitting out if you want to keep it you need to use a Genshi exit also Make sure you do not have auto sell turned on in the cheat shop. If you have auto sell turned on, the item will automatically sell as soon as you steal it. This means you will not obtain it. And there we go, guys. That is how you obtain rank 40 equipment in Disguise 7. Still, I do hope this video has helped. If it has, then please be sure to smash that like button and, of course, drop a comment. Also, if you want to see any more Disguise 7 guides, then check the playlist down below in the description. All my guides are in there. However, if there's something that I don't answer in a video, feel free to also join the Discord server, also linked in the description, or it is on Linktree. With that said, though, everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.